Here we are with Limestone baseball coach Chico Lombardo on the cusp of their brand new season. Coach, just talk about, you know, going this weekend on a trip and uh, give us a little bit of a preview of the weekend. Well, Trey, we're really excited about getting the season going. We open up uh, tomorrow down at Francis Marion with uh, Mars Hill at 11 o'clock. We've got uh, Francis Marion then at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And on Sunday, we'll play uh, conference uh, rival in a non-conference game, we'll play Pfeiffer. So we're really excited about getting the season kicked off. Uh, uh, guys are excited. We've put a lot of time and effort into it and uh, just looking forward to getting on the bus and going. All right, looking ahead at the schedule right now, you know, who are some of the key dates? Come on, look up your non-conference dates and plus some of the key conference g g series to look ahead to. You know, uh, this weekend's big and it's always important to get off to a good start. And, uh, you know, I think we're ready to go down there and compete hard. Um, so, you know, this weekend with the three, the following weekend we go down to uh, play an old friend of mine, uh, uh, Dave Barnett, down at Flagler. We've got him for two games. Plus Florida Tech's the first time we've played those guys, and they're always nationally ranked as well. So, uh, you know, the first two weekends are key. Uh, the third weekend, uh, World Series uh, participant last year, Coker. Coker won our uh, region and advanced to the World Series. So we've got those guys uh, for a home-and-home -home series. We'll play them at uh, Shelby High School is where we'll play our home series because of our construction not quite uh, uh, completed. Uh, and down at uh, down in Hartsville uh, at their place. So, uh, yeah, the first three weekends are big. Uh, conference play begins in, uh, in March, and it really uh, starts off with a bang. Mount Olive, Belmont Abbey, uh, and I think uh, uh, Barton are our first three weekends. So uh, every weekend's going to be tough. Every weekend's going to be exciting, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to, to a big challenge this year. You mentioned that there's a uh, quite a bit of construction going here about Prevet Field. Do you want to just touch on a little bit how that's uh, maybe affected some practices practices here in the early going, and maybe just a little bit of the excitement of uh, the improvements that are going on here? Yeah, you know, for the first time, uh, uh, really major renovations are, are happening to uh, to Bob Prevet. We're coming in with uh, uh, a full grandstand, a, a double covered batting cage. Uh, new outfield fencing and and actually it's pretty exciting because we're going to put up a, a, a mini green monster uh, in left field a 25 foot fence that extends about 145 feet so um, you know our ballpark is we've hit some home runs here and, and uh, you know that's going to be uh, kind of a target to, to shoot for um, but the construction is going on hasn't affected practice as much you know the cold weather uh, has affected a little bit more but uh, you know, we talked about the distractions, and, and actually, you know, we're dealing with the adversity, which is, which is good. Um, uh, you know, there are earth movers going around here, there are backhoes, there are bulldozers, uh, a lot of things going on, but, uh, uh, you know, guys are handling it real well. All right, now looking ahead, let's talk about some of those key returners from last year's season. There's a number of them, guys like, such as K.J. McAllister, your Chad Baldermans. Who are some of those guys that you'll be looking to count on and, as the season goes along? Yeah, you know, you mentioned them, uh, K.J., uh, is our leadoff guy, our second baseman. He's team captain. You know, just had an outstanding year last year, and, and uh, you know, he's, he's really worked hard. Uh, this is his third year in our program, and he's really improved every year. And uh, uh, had a great fall, and uh, looking for him to be a you know a real catalyst for us. Uh, he's you know his game is is uh, you know he stepped up his game to the next level, and uh, you know he's a spark plug at the top of the lineup, a switch hitter, and, and a really good second baseman. So, you know, KJ gets us going. Um, you know, Chad Balderman. Chad uh, could end up being a you know all-time career home run hitter. He averages seven to eight a year, and uh, you know he's going to end up with um, uh, you know over 30 uh, home runs more than likely. Uh, I'm not sure where he is right now, but uh, you know hit seven or eight last year, and and we'll do the same. Chad's just a you know he's a pure hitter, and uh, hitting the middle lineup, he's going to drive in some runs for us. Uh, was second team All Conference last year, and so was KJ. Um, and then really Cooper Gunner. Cooper's a, you know the third guy that had an outstanding year for us offensively last year, and and Cooper's um, you know Cooper's a versatile player and he's done well even though we've switched defensively uh, some different positions. He came up as a catcher. He caught his freshman year, then moved, played some outfield. Uh, last year he was our first baseman, did an outstanding job, uh, and uh, this year he's going back behind the plate. So even though he's played three or four defensive positions, offensively his output has, has been real consistent. Um, he can hit, he can turn on the fastball, and, uh, you know, those three guys are, are, are big keys for us. All right, looking ahead, who are some of the newcomers that, you know, Saints fans may want to keep an eye out for? Well, I, you know, when, when we finished up last year, our goal was to get a little bit more physical uh, offensively 
and to strengthen our um, uh, our pitching staff. And we feel like we've done that. You know, on the mound, we've picked up uh, Jamison McGrain, we've picked up Jose Rondon, and along with Caleb Earls, those three guys that uh, are slated to be our weekend starters. And all three of those guys are starting, uh, the, you know, the first three games over the weekend down in Florence. So two new guys along with uh, Caleb Earls. And then we picked up uh, uh, some good young arms. Charlie Richardson's a good young arm. Uh, Jonathan Caldwell is a good young arm. Kyle Cliff is a good young arm. So we did a really good job on um, uh, having depth in the bullpen and picking up some quality uh, pitchers. You know, uh, offensively, uh, picked up uh, first baseman Kyle Booth. Kyle uh, from Lackawanna Community College uh, has been really good for us this fall. Big left-handed hit in first baseman. Uh, picked up Chris Skurr. Skurr was at um, Pensacola State last year and uh, hit about 350 for those guys. He's a physical guy. Uh, he's been battling for shortstop uh, position uh, for us. Um, and uh, uh, Michael Gonzalez picked him up from Spartanburg Methodist. And uh, Michael's been outstanding so far all fall and, and early spring. So, you know, we, I think we've strengthened offensively our, our, our ball club. And those guys, I think, will complement uh, KJ and Coop and Chad. And, uh, you know, we're excited about uh, seeing them get out on the field and participate. All right. Thanks, Coach Ake, for taking time out and speaking with us. Hey, always a pleasure, Trey. Thank you very much.